This is second grade into math, module 20, lesson three. Relate centimeters to a number line. I can solve two digit addition and subtraction problems using a centimeter ruler or a meter stick as a number line. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 500. We will start under build understanding. In school, Chantel learned how to solve problems on a number line. Today, she has some homework problems about centimeter length. So she made a number line to use, but something went wrong. How can Chantel fix her number line? So here we see that Chantel made a number line, one, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 12, 15. What do you notice about Chantel's number line? This might be a good time to pause and write what you think and come back to see what I found. I noticed that some of the numbers on her number line are missing. See where it goes from six to 10? And she was counting one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. 10. And the other thing I noticed is that the numbers are not evenly spaced. Here we have something kind of close and then we have a big space here and another big space and another space. They're just not all the same. Let's look at part B. What measuring tool could Chantel have used to help her make a correct number line? If she was working on homework problems about centimeter length, then we can answer she could have used a centimeter ruler. Part C asks us to use a centimeter ruler to make a number line Chantel can use. You may want to pause and try this part on your own with your own centimeter ruler, or you can follow along with me. I'm going to take the centimeter ruler and I'm going to place it inside the box. I'm going to draw a line all the way across here make an arrow here and an arrow here. And then I'm going to make little dashes where I see the dashes on the centimeter uh, ruler. And then I'm gonna fill in those numbers according to what's on here. So I move my centimeter ruler down and then I can start writing in the numbers below just like this. And again, you can follow along or you can pause and try this part on your own. Now I have made a number line that she can use by using a centimeter ruler to make it. Let's take a look at the next page, page 501 under Step It Out. A watermelon is 18 centimeters long. Then it grows or gets bigger 16 more centimeters. How long is the watermelon now? Part A asks us on a meter stick, mark the number that shows how long the watermelon is the first time it is measured. So if we go back to our word problem, the first measurement of the watermelon was that it was 18 centimeters long. That was the first measurement. So we're gonna go to our um, meter stick here and we're going to mark the number 18 right here. Great job. Okay, now part B asks us, how many centimeters does the watermelon grow? We were told that the watermelon grew 16 more centimeters in the word problem. So we are going to write 16 centimeters and they want us to break it into the 16 into tens and ones. Can you do that? Can you pause and try that? When you come back, you should see that there is six ones and one 10 in the number 16. Great job. Part C says on the meter stick, count on by ones to add the ones. 
then count on by 10 to add the 10. So we're gonna start here with the one and we're going to count on six. And when we start at 18 and we count on six, we're going to go to the number 24. That's adding six. And now we need to count on by 10 to add the 110. So we're going to count on 10 and we get to the number 34 by adding 10. Now we can complete the equation to show how the watermelon grows. So first we had 18, 18 centimeters. So we'll write that in, 18 centimeters. And then the watermelon grew by 16 centimeters, which we were told in our, in our word problem. So when we put 18 and 16 together, we find that the answer is 34. So 18 centimeters plus 16 centimeters is 34 centimeters. Great work. Now we're ready for check understanding. Liam has a ribbon that is 26 centimeters long. Fiona has a ribbon that is 19 centimeters long. How much longer is Liam's ribbon than Fiona's ribbon? Use a centimeter ruler or meter stick to solve. You may want to pause and try this part on your own, or you can follow along with me. Let's review this uh, word problem. First, we know that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Liam's uh, ribbon is 26 meters. And then we see that Fiona's is 19 centimeters. So what we're trying to find out is how much longer Liam's ribbon is, because we know his is the largest because it's the bigger number. We have 26 and we have 19. We know that 26 is bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw a dot here on the 26 to represent Liam's ri ribbon. Then I'm gonna draw a dot here on 19 to represent Fiona's ribbon. Now what I'm looking to find is this part right here because this shows us the, the difference between Liam's ribbon, which stops here, and Fiona's ribbon, which stops here. So I have 26 and I have 19 and I'm trying to find the difference between them. So I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whichever way I look at it, there is a difference here of seven centimeters. Great job today. If you would like to go back and rewatch this video, you may do so, and you can pause anytime as needed.